Airbus CEO Guillaume Fauré has just unveiled a stunning development that could redefine the company's future. As engine supply shortages disrupt jet deliveries, this secret weapon might be the game changer Airbus desperately needs. What's the story behind this shocking reveal? Let's dive in. CFM International, one of Airbus's main engine suppliers, has been struggling to keep up with demand due to global supply chain challenges. This has forced Airbus to lower its 2024 delivery target from 800 jets to around 770 earlier this year. Now, with just two months left in 2024, the pressure is on. Airbus needs to deliver 200 jets to hit its goal. But is that even realistic? Speaking on Tuesday, when asked about CFM's ability to deliver enough engines for this year's targets, Airbus CEO Guillaume Fauré admitted the situation remains tight, but he's more optimistic than before. The good news? Any shortfall in engines would likely involve only a few units rather than a massive disruption. But will this cautious optimism be enough to calm the nerves of industry analysts? Interestingly, Fauré's tone has shifted. Earlier this year, tensions between Airbus and CFM ran high, but now, Fori seems to be taking a more conciliatory tone, acknowledging CFM's efforts under tough circumstances. His latest comments suggest a more positive outlook, which insiders attribute to ongoing negotiations over engine allocations. This engine company is facing the tough task of balancing production for new engines while servicing existing fleets, all while dealing with supply chain disruptions and even recent hurricanes in the U.S. So, what is the current status of CFM International's engine supply, and how well can it meet the demands of airlines? CFM International's Leap One. A engine is a crucial component for Airbus's A320neo family, which includes bestsellers like the A319neo, A321LR, and A321XLR. Recent data shows that out of the 455 A320neo aircraft delivered this year, 244 were equipped with the Leap 1A engine, while 211 featured Pratt & Whitney's PW1100G, commonly known as the geared turbofan. Between May 1st and November 20th, Airbus delivered 289 A320neo family aircraft with 160 powered by Leap 1A engines and 129 using the PW1100G. From the numbers mentioned above, you might be wondering why Airbus seems to favor CFM engines over Pratt and Whitney engines. At the forefront of its appeal is its exceptional reliability, boasting an impressive 99.95% departure reliability rate. This positions the CFM's engine as one of the most dependable in its class, ensuring smooth operations for airlines and fewer disruptions to schedules. In terms of fuel efficiency, the Leap engine is a leader. It consumes from 15 to 20% less fuel than its predecessor, the CFM56, and an astounding 66% less fuel compared to driving the same distance. This not only translates to significant cost savings for airlines, but also contributes to reducing the aviation industry's environmental footprint, a critical goal in today's sustainability-focused world. Another standout feature is noise reduction. These engines produce significantly less noise, enhancing passenger comfort and reducing the impact on communities near airports. Combined with its high utilization rate, which minimizes downtime and maximizes operational hours, the Leap engine is a workhorse that keeps fleets in the air longer. From a maintenance perspective, this engine excels with enhanced time on wing margins, effectively lowering maintenance costs. Airlines benefit further from CFM's advanced predictive maintenance analytics, which leverages sophisticated data tools to anticipate and address potential issues before they arise. The Leap Engine's use of revolutionary materials such as 3D printed parts and ceramic matrix composites underscores its innovative design. These materials not only reduce weight, but also improve durability and performance, setting a new benchmark in engine technology. However, more than the outstanding features of the engine, today both CFM International and Pratt and & Whitney have faced significant supply chain challenges. While CFM is grappling with production bottlenecks, Pratt & Whitney has been dealing with the fallout from accelerated inspections and removals of its geared turbofan engines. During GE Aerospace's fourth quarter earnings call on October 22nd, the company acknowledged that deliveries of Leap engines are down year on year. In addition to powering the A320neo family, the Leap 1B is the exclusive engine for the Boeing 737 MAX, 
which has faced its own setbacks due to production issues like the Max 9 door plug flaw and the 52-day machinist strike at Boeing. Rahul Guy, CFO of G Aerospace, revealed that supply chain issues have impacted shipments of commercial aircraft products, with total engine deliveries dropping by 4%, and leap engine deliveries slowing by 6% year on year. A key development for CFM is the upcoming certification of its Leap 1A durability kit, which includes improved high-pressure turbine blades. GE Aerospace CEO Henry Culp stated that regulators are expected to approve the upgrade in the coming weeks. While this upgrade won't fully resolve supply chain constraints, it's aimed at enhancing the safety and quality of the high-pressure turbine blades. Culp explained that the new blade design is easier to manufacture, which could streamline upstream production processes. However, for the fourth quarter, most deliveries will still rely on the current blade design, both for new engines and aftermarket supply. CFM International's recent struggles with supply chain constraints and delays in delivering its LEAP engines have raised questions about its reliability in meeting Airbus's ambitious production and innovation goals. These delays have not only impacted Airbus's ability to meet its annual delivery targets, but also strained the trust between the two companies. At the 2024 Farnborough Air Show, Airbus executives emphasized their focus on advancing fuel efficiency and emissions reductions for future aircraft. Julie Kitcher, Airbus's chief sustainability officer, highlighted the company's commitment to achieving a 25% increase in fuel efficiency with each new generation of aircraft. For its upcoming single-aisle jet, Airbus has expressed interest in Rolls-Royce engines, particularly for their alignment with Airbus's sustainability and technological goals. The successor to the A320neo, known as the next-generation single-aisle, represents a clean-sheet design aimed at revolutionizing narrow-body aviation. Airbus plans to launch the program in the late 2020s, with an entry into service date in the late 2030s. The company's exploration of Rolls-Royce engines for this project underscores a potential shift in partnerships, possibly marking a reduced reliance on CFM International. As Airbus looks toward the future, it is made clear that any new engine must support sustainable aviation fuels, SAF, and potentially hydrogen power. Rolls-Royce's strong focus on these technologies, including its work on SAF-compatible engines and hydrogen propulsion systems, positions it as a formidable competitor to this joint company. Furthermore, while CFM International is actively developing the RISE, revolutionary innovation for a sustainable engine's open fan propulsion system, Airbus has not yet committed exclusively to its longtime engine partner. This opens the door for Rolls-Royce, which has made significant advancements in engine efficiency and sustainability, to secure a major role in powering the new narrowbody fleet. So what's at stake for CFM? As Airbus explores new paths, the joint company faces the challenge of not only resolving its supply chain issues, but also proving that its next generation technologies can compete with Rolls-Royce's advancements. If Airbus's trust in CFM continues to erode, it may lead to a significant reshuffling of the aerospace engine landscape, with Rolls-Royce poised to gain a larger foothold in the narrowbody market. About Boeing, they continue to express strong confidence in the Leap 1B engine, which powers its 737 MAX aircraft, highlighting the engine's critical role in the company's strategy for operational efficiency and environmental sustainability. Speaking about the Leap 1B, Boeing has emphasized its contribution to achieving improved fuel efficiency, reduced CO2 emissions, and lower noise levels, all of which are key priorities for airlines looking to modernize their fleets and meet evolving regulatory standards. Boeing's collaboration with CFM International has been integral to maintaining the 737 MAX's position as a leading aircraft in the narrowbody market. The Leap 1B engine has consistently demonstrated its reliability and advanced performance characteristics since its entry into service. For Boeing, these attributes are vital in meeting the demands of airlines like American Airlines, which recently reaffirmed its trust in the Leap 1B through long-term agreements for both new engines and maintenance services. Boeing recognizes the value of the Leap 1B in supporting our customers' operational goals, particularly in the areas of cost efficiency and environmental performance, said a Boeing spokesperson. The engine's proven track record aligns with our commitment to delivering high-quality, dependable aircraft to our airline partners. Despite some challenges in the global supply chain that have affected engine deliveries, 
Boeing remains optimistic about CFM's ability to fulfill its commitments. The two companies continue to collaborate closely to ensure timely delivery and support, which Boeing views as essential to maintaining the 737 MAX's competitive edge in a market increasingly focused on sustainability and efficiency. However, recently, engine supply issues haven't been Airbus's only challenge. The company has also grappled with delays in other critical components such as seats and landing gear, which have further slowed production. We continue to observe a very difficult situation on interiors, Airbus CEO Guillaume Faure admitted to analysts back in June. Adding to the complexity, Christian Scherer, who stepped into the role of head of the plane making division in January, highlighted the cumulative pressure on supply chains. In an interview with Germany's Hamburger Abendblatt published in June, he noted that engines, landing gear, and cabin components are all contributing to the ongoing bottlenecks. Meanwhile, labor disputes have compounded the problem. In Canada, workers at a saffron factory near Montreal, which produces landing gear components for both Airbus and Boeing, have been on strike for nearly a month, creating additional disruptions for the aerospace giants. These multifaceted challenges underline the fragile state of supply chains in the aviation industry, with no easy fixes in sight. Until the end of October, Airbus had delivered 559 aircraft this year, including a strong push of 62 jets in October alone. November has started slower, with just 15 aircraft delivered so far, including two A350, one to Singapore Airlines and the other to Ethiopian Airlines, marking their first A350-1000. The remaining deliveries have been A320 Neo family jets. To hit its adjusted target, Airbus will need a remarkable effort in the final weeks of the year, but analysts remain skeptical. Some predict Airbus may only reach around 750 deliveries, a number it could justify without officially revising its guidance. Despite these hurdles, Airbus continues to outperform rival Boeing, which is still recovering from internal setbacks. But the question remains, what lies ahead? Can Airbus pull it off? Can Airbus rise to the challenge and deliver the 770 aircraft it has targeted for 2024? Or will lingering supply chain issues, tight timelines, and unpredictable disruptions derail their plans? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated on the latest developments in the world of aviation. See you soon!